There we go. <sighs> Alright. Here we go. I have all the tools I need. I have... I need Gallows to be one more level. Level 25, I could start the match with Extend um, Valiant, and everybody will die. Everybody. Oh, man. I love that opening. <laughs> Alright, now, we don't have a destination of mine. Drifters are people who are rich living on the sky of the wasteland, right? Sometimes you get jealous of the lives you get to live. Just wish we all moved out of this town together. So, we do not have a destination, now we need to find one. I understand how we rely on things with a form that you can reach out and feel with your own hands. But the formless are never broken or destroyed, like music, for example. In this in this uh, particular, and you can listen to all the music in the game. <laughs> that you've listened to, at least, I do believe. But, we're not going to do that just yet. Alright, I'm not getting any uh, hints as to where to go. Someone once told me that the planet is really alive. I think he's right. It's my friend because it's alive, and I treasure it because it's my friend. Okay. Still not given a uh, destination here. I once heard that gems are only found near ley lines, the path of the planet's life force. Why, ten years ago, at the laboratory to the northwest, a bunch of scientists were studying ley lines. They said they were doing it to make the world a better place or something. There we go. Got our destination. Now let's uh, upgrade some guns. Clive, what would it cost? Okay. That would make them better. Ain't no way that's happening. Alright. So we're going to sell... Not sell a few of these gems. Just enough. There we go. He's got 75 attack power. Which is great. Which means, you know, he's going to do damage no matter what. Virginia is not going to do damage. So, don't need to worry so much on her. As I have a plan for her later on. It's going to be uh, Clive and Jet. It's going to be their show for a while. Not there. 
There it is. Here we go, Leyline Observatory. Maybe we'll meet some new foes. Ooh, and it looks like Jet's remembering something. Ugh! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why do I know this place? I have no memories. This is crazy. Enter password. I don't even have a password. Okay, fine. How about Zed? Of course not. Heelberry. Lucky card. Hey. Leyline Observatory. Catch that. I would like to read it. Leyline Observatory is funded by a special organization where we research and study ley lines. An energy network that sustains a planet. By analyzing ley lines, we strive to refine the energy that sustains this planet. If it's successful, we'll be able to detect the decay, deter the decay of this planet and breathe new life into the environment. May our blood and tears become the blessed rain and our toil the light that warms the flower and greenery. We must bear the fruits of our research. A memo addressed to the night shift staff falls to the floor. Would you like to read it? Yes. Four of you will be assigned the night shift this month. You must activate the elevator, use your name as the password before you begin your shift. P.S. Bryant. Please let Incapilla know. Bandit, you're last, so please empty the trash before you leave. Any questions? Ask Vilente, who comes in before Bryant. Let's go into that now. And I, uh, I forgot how to spell the name immediately. <laughs> Benedict. Benedict is the last one, so. No? Okay, it's not. Um, Benedict. How about Incapilia? There we go. Gonna be one of them. A white lab coat and personal belongings are covered in dust. There's nothing useful in here. Old pair of socks gives off a sour fermented stench. White lab coat, okay, nothing. Nothing. Here we go, tool, radar. Press square to scan for hidden items inside treasure chests and other containers. In fact, in this game, the radar should be able to uh, find invisible objects and reveal them too. And candy wrapper, nothing useful. So yeah. Yeah, I tried. Alright, I need to see what kind of enemies are in here. Because, yeah, Jet's about to level up. Clive is so far behind. Poor bastard. First corpse. Little, let's shine a little light in their life.
Oh yeah. Easy fights. With that one gem, I can make a mountain out of that, out of this. There's a note written on the whiteboard that's barely legible. To the person using the radar, once you're done with it, like to please return to the locker. I would like to use it next to find my ID card. As you can hear, there's three items in here. Dragon Fossil is one of them. Veins circulating the subsurface. Would you like to read? Sure. Underneath the crust of Phil Gaia lies a network of ley lines which acts as blood vessels to supply life energy to the planet. Atop these ley lines lie geologic stratum strong points called ley points. It is interesting to note that many guardian shrines can be found atop of ley points. Not only do ley lines circulate the life energy of the planet, it is also assumed that they connect the ley points to amplify the energy mutually. In this sense, ley lines and ley points are similar to blood vessels and organs in a living organism. This comparison paved the way for the Philgaia theory, which views the planet as one single life entity. Also known as, like in 2, you know, like this dimension destroyed the dragon's dimension. Okay, so we got regular books, we got comic books. Let's get rid of the comic book. I think the comic book was the worst out of all this. I worried about a little bit of damage here. Woo! Man, they all want to crit today. It's nice. Find them treasure chest. Booby trap is set. Who's got good luck? All right. Let's go, Clive. Ah. Hey, it happens. Call whistle. Is that quite useful? Magic cleanser. Magic cleanser is okay. Yeah, I don't have what I need for that. I need more gold. Yeah, let's get rid of these. For these comic books. HP Robber wasn't so bad. Come on, hit Jet. Damn it. We have against Clive, man. Poor guy's already at half, uh. at half vitality thanks to the boob. This is that booby trap. Yeah, no vitality by the end of this. Okay, there we go. Luck is part of skill. Catch your eye. I like to read it. Sealed by magic. No, not use a duplicator on that. In the beginning, catch your eye. Would like to read it? Yes. The progenitors of the human race are said to have arrived on this planet long ago on a ship that soars the heavens. However, there's no mention of where our forefathers came from. Without any absolute evidence backing up this folklore, many have come to view it as a mere fairy tale. 
On the other hand, there are those who take the folklore seriously, citing the fact that a human race seems to appear in history overnight. I strongly believe that solving the mystery of the ship that soars the heavens will one day be shed light as the true origin of the human race. Yeah, it's just telling you that luck is a random factor here. There's the ID card. Piece of experimental records still remain inside the console. Would you like to display it? Yes. It was damaged. By piecing some of the words together, it seems to have something to do with environmental data and simulation patterns dating back to a thousand years ago. Pure scientists were trying to revitalize or transform the environment artificially. Alright, so... What is this ID card? Belonged to a researcher named Pete. Okay. Here we go. Just making sure that I, if I needed to type in the name. Same thing is going to happen in here if I try to read that. But... See, this is what I needed to do. Go through this dungeon, get Gallows, you know, the Spectre ability, get a few gems, and the boss would have been a piece of cake. No, I had to go in early, waste all my healing items, and get rid of the Bazelard. <laughs> Poison. Go for it, Clive. Coin 4500 Gala Gala card. Hell yeah. Duran's diary. She never she came by again last night. Whenever I lost in my labyrinth of contemplation, she reaches out her tiny hands. Who is she? Actually, it may be wrong to define her as a real person. As long as I don't tie myself down with logic, she is just she. I'm at a point where I can't live without her anymore. I can't continue research without her. I can't concentrate. I want to know more about her. I'm more interested in her than I am learning about the mecha mechanics of the generator. Adult mag. So, that's a hidden boss. You need to hit it with a duplicator. And then you have to have a migrant gauge of 18 in order to activate it. <laughs> so, it's a don't bother right now. Alright. Mimic. Two mimics. Okay. I'll do with two mimics. Well, no point in, uh, in all that. Good dose of light. And now you get hit. Could have made use of that. Oh well. What I win. Holy Ark. Nullifies bronze. That's actually quite useful. Bronze is essentially a small instant death attack. Not exactly the thing you want to get hit with. So let's see here. Okay. I'm just looking at who's immune to... Who could be immune to what? Really need him to get initiative. That would be nice. So. It's not going to happen all the time, but it, will, it could happen. <laughs> it could happen just a little bit faster. Okay. Could give it to Virginia. You know what? I will. Whip. Terror Roar. Give her the Holy Ankh.
Yep. <laughs> Beyond Oblivion. Demi-humans may look and think like humans, but they are different. Demi-humans called elves are said to have once existed on Felgaia. Last time we saw an elf would have been Wild Arms 1. These elves were said to have fought off demons using the power of the Guardians. Originally, the elves were a peaceful race, but led by the blacksmith warrior Vassim, they fought to save the planet. Other men who were said to have been revered on an epitaph or uh, Fulcanelli, who performed the secret ceremony, and Blavatsky, who had insight about Fulgaia. After the end of this bitter war, the elves vanished and no one has heard from them again. According to one theory, since elves were close to tie to nature, they believed to have died off from decay of the planet. Are the elves extinct? No one knows for sure. The demi-human elves have been forgotten pages of history. Perhaps we will remember them when this place returns to Verdur. <coughs> Whatever. Probably known as the Chalk. The end of the Great War gave birth to fundamentalism in nature, Baskar. Secret ceremonies were held using the power of the guards and two sects of Baskar were established. One is a religious group for those who had nowhere to turn to, and the other is restorers of the decayed environment. Shortly after the flames of war had died out, it said that the Baskars tried to rejuvenate Filgaia through the use of Guardians. Guardians, which were considered to be the power that sustains the world, were attempting to do just that. The Baskars were said to have set up chocks, a structure signifying beliefs in Guardians over the lay points. Those chocks were used to suppress the expansion of the wasteland and at the same time amplify the Guardians' powers while supplying the energy of the world. However, the spread of the wasteland was more severe than expected, and the chocks only worked to delay the decay instead of revitalizing the environment. These chocks only became referred as guardian shrines to play a ceremonial role today. The rejuvenation filled guy would have to find a new, different approach. Artifacts over memories. Artifacts left behind from the Great War brought about a new power to the human race. Machines capable of activation through the use of will as an extension to oneself. Artifacts from Ruins. Memories. Also known as arms. Today, arms commonly refers to portal machine weaponry, but tech originally encompasses the technology used to make them. To this day, no one knows who these memories belong to. But the fact remains that we have come to depend on its powers. Alright. We already went through that. We already went through that. Without any windows and so many machines humming loudly 24 7, surprised scientists didn't go insane. Oh, Virginia, the data inside of these machines are still active. Wasn't my imagination at all. I know this place, but why? What we got? It was damaged. Appears to the worst together. Appears to sign information life from ley lines. Nothing there. Sun. My only regret is that I was unable to show you a world full of verdure. But wait, I will overlap the new world formation under your figure. A new life. A life but that must carry the burden of for generations. Adam Cadman, you are our only hope. Guide this full guy so that it will once again be filled with greenery. You are the world's hope. Count on you for all children of this planet. Is there anything here? Impl implantation of the sample completed on time. Adjusting time schedule by 0-2. Everything is projecting, projecting smoothly. This project was feared to be blasphemy against divine nature, but favorable progress helps to ease our collective consciousness. This is a significant leap forward to the theory the outcome will be proved once the project begins to take shape. Adam Cadman is about to be born. Will the seven of us earn a place in history as the creators or immortal sinners? That will all depend on the completion of the sample. The seven of us have come this far so that we can deliver another tomorrow for the planet. Seven, huh? It's not like I understand why I know this, but... Huh? What are you doing? There, it opened. A secret door, but how did you find it? Surely it wasn't obvious. I don't know why, but I think I know this place. Actually, it's more like my body remembers it. 
Think this place might have something to do with your lost memories? Who knows, but the fact is, I seem to faintly remember this place. Waving water. Reflection of light. People in white lab coats. I wasn't alone then. Do not try to recall on everything at once. It'll be too overwhelming for you mentally and physically. There must be some kind of clue about his memories behind the secret door. Let's go find out. Giant cultivation device for organisms. Many tiny adjustment dials surround the pod. My stomach feels like it's going to fall out. My neck's getting stiff. We need to leave here now. Pieces of experimental records. Let's see. The experimental record was damaged. Okay. Alright. So. Password to this. There is a book somewhere around here, but it is, I do believe, a guiding word. I, which means I might have missed an entire area here. O R D. Yep. Yeah, I got stuck here. Not. Not knowing it's it's right here, isn't it? So Gaia theory, right here. The guiding word, yeah. The guiding word here was the password. I didn't understand that. I actually had to go to a game store, see the official strategy guide, and look it up. Wavering wisdom. The truth that gave birth to life. The many secret ceremonies stored inside the information library hiatus to give people the meaning of creating new life. Golem. This is said to be an unborn child. A steel machine that carries out orders in a detailed, precise fashion. Yes, it is a machine. However, not only does the mechanical golem carry out orders, it compares past memory and data to perform the most appropriate action. It has a will of its own. In fact, it's safe to say it's a life form with its own personality. It is not a life form born of life, but a life born from truth. That is a golem. How close is this truth to God? Its discovery was a coincidence. The first group of scientists, which later went on to form the first council, came into contact with the wisdom deep within a ruin. The ruin was named Mimmer's Well, and was set up as a base of the operations to analyze the wisdom. The wisdom was determined to be crystallization of wisdom, dating all the way back to the Great War. Due to its advanced and dangerous nature, the wisdom was concluded to be technology of demons from folklore. This wisdom, or artifact, left behind by demons was accumulated and stored inside an emulator zone, a memory area similar to human memory. These can also be considered as memories left by, behind by demons. The scientists named this information library that existed inside this emulator zone Hiatus. Hiatus and the wisdom left behind were analyzed by the group of scientists for many years to come. Their goal was to utilize the power that once destroyed the planet to try and rejuvenate it. Wisdom is something that wavers. Its value and use are not meant to be used in one place. Anything here? Nope. Damaged. How about here? Damaged. But there is something here. A photo. I have no idea who these people are, but why do I feel so uneasy? There's something about this picture. It's like half the picture is, uh, you know, in our in our inventory. Where are you? And you can see the members, at, at least the three members that survived. Finally found it, including my father's whereabouts. So Dad was here. Would you mind telling us more? Virginia began to recount the disappearance of her father ten years ago. How her father flew into the wasteland, leaving her and her sick mother behind, never to be seen again. Many months of sorrow passed before she finally gave him up for dead. But the double pistol she wields and the technique required to handle them are the only memories she has left of them. Although these memories are distant, they are close and familiar to her, even now. 
This doesn't prove whether he's alive today or not, but I was able to trace my father's step after he left. I'm sure, Mom would be happy to hear about this too. Uh, can I look at that picture for a sec? Is this man here your father? Wait, how did you know? Did I describe him to you before? Well? So you do know him. Please tell me. Tell me everything you know about him, no matter how small. Well, uh, that man is a... Uh, well, he's kind of like a mild man, but don't freak out. What? <laughs> I guess he was out having fun. I believe mom and me. I can't believe this. This is my half brother. We're family, huh? So what's older? Him? So they had another family side. Was he trying to make a baseball team? Yo, you okay? That dirty mind pervert of a father. I kind of regrets with him leaving me. But what about mom? How could he do this to her? Well, yes, it might have been wrong for me to assume Dan was dead. He was like, well, I just wish he would have come home to see us. Hear me out. I haven't finished explaining yet. Well, that, what I meant that, by that was, uh, let her cook. <laughs> what I wanted to say was that he's the one that raised me and taught me how to survive in the wasteland. He got it all wrong. He was Dan, why am I the one playing? I'm the one who doesn't have any. Yeah, I know. I know my father wasn't like that. I was always daddy's girl. I loved him so much. There's no way he couldn't be such a person. Just so happy. So he was doing fine. Guess he would have told us himself. Wish I could have let dad know I'm doing fine too. Sorry to crash the party. Here we go. Someone's got a bone to pick. York! Oh, she's so happy to see us. How nice to see you again. I've come to pay you back for that time you completely ridiculed me. Well, that is my personal reason for being here, but actually, I came here to carry out my duty. Work, work, work. So, you're here to take command of that big hunk of metal? Allow me to introduce to you a golem, which we bore from the wisdom of Hiatus. Codenamed Divine Fortress, Asgard. This is going to be a thorn on our side. Asgard has evolved enormously from previous fighting machines. The Gemini circuit embedded in his chest allows him to record and assess any situation, enabling him to react accordingly by evolutionary al an algorithm. A machine capable of correlating current situations with past data to calculate the best course of action? Impossible. But it exists right here, right now. That's not all. The more Asgard fights, the more battle data he stores, which means he'll grow smarter after each battle. Amazing, isn't it? And that is why you've been selected as his first spec data specimen. Go, Asgard. Crush the target. Yeah, this is going to be trouble. Get this going. Look, I'm not going to be able to show this off if I don't take damage. I mean, I'm doing a good amount of damage without even taking any, so... Oh, well, he's dead. I don't think we can even put a dent in him. It's like an impenetrable fortress, but we gotta break through to keep going. Be on your guard. Something beginning to swell up from within him. Bring it on.
Good times. All right. Marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. To exhibit such power during a test run. The technology of hiatus is astounding. This is excellent battle data. Much better than expected. To free myself from future anxiety, I should deliver the finishing blow. Huh? Reinforcements. That's an outrage. They're not one of us. If anything, they're our enemy. But what gets me is what a familiar face is being bullied by a new face in town. Any of my enemy could be my ally, but Asgard is determined you as hostile. Prepare to become its data. Lady, I'm more concerned about that big fellow than her. Stand off. Gnosis! Why you, you're a sly as a fox. Just shows you, you know, how long she's been out there, you know, doing things. Dad. Milady, she's awakened. Giddy. Can you take over guard duty? You got it. How you feeling? Huh? Alright. Uh, I think I'm fine. How's your arm? Try moving it. I think I'm okay, just like normal. Good. I was worried. Well, now that you're feeling better, I think you should go back home. Late wasteland's not for you. How could you say that? The drifter confronts two obstacles the longer they continue on their journey. One is the artifacts of prehistoric culture that far surpass the technology of today. I'm sure you're well aware. And the second is what is the cause of Fogaya's decay. You'd be alright if you stick with these little undertakings, but once you get yourself involved with in those two matters, there's no turning back. Moreover, if you're not careful, you might lose your life, like you almost did just now. It's not too late for you. Now's the time to turn back. No, I won't turn back. Oh, is there a reason why you go overboard and act so recklessly? Do you mean to tell me that justice you're looking for can only be found by facing danger? I have to face danger if I want to find... Just pack your bags and don't get involved in matters where you can't. I have to face the danger to find my father. There's no way I'm turning back. Next time you show your face and try to get in our way, I, Maya Schrodinger, will crush you to the ground. No holds barred. Just remember that. And I'm looking forward to that battle. You have no idea. <laughs> Sorry, but don't be mad at my sister. My sister's a little, you know, she comes off as crass, but she's trying her hardest to be nice. Sure, she's, she said what she said because she's taking a liking to you. Nobody wants to see people they like get hurt, right? He's got a panda backpack. I know somebody would like to see that. I'm sorry, I said something selfish. I probably shouldn't be the leader of this team. My father's been missing for a real long time now. Given up on him, but once I found out he might be alive, I kind of went over my head. When Maya drilled me with her lecture, she probably made me realize she's probably right. It's too dangerous to get involved any further. So let's call it quits and go our separate ways. So, you're dissolving the team so that you can head out on your own to search for your father's whereabouts? Is that what you're trying to say? I just... That in itself is selfish. Why not lend an ear to your comrades to hear what we have to say? If I may, I believe that the lost history of Fogai, which I am in search of, can be found where you are headed. Ever since the first day I met you and traveled together as a team, with you as a leader, I have encountered many different events. 
All these events were stimulating, something I could never experience had I worked alone. Even if you try to stop me, I intend to travel by your side. I'm going to continue to chase my dream. Hmm. When people face decisions, they sometimes hesitate and don't feel like moving from their spot. In this kind of situation, I think it's the leader's role to stand behind that person to give them a boost. I don't know if that would define you as a brilliant leader, but a good leader at least. You actually make a traveling the wasteland kind of enjoyable. We can't think of anyone else who'd rather have leading us. We all knew there was danger involved. We wanted to do it. Well, we've come this far. Let's see, we're, let's see this through the end together. And once we're all done, let's make sure Granny coughs up a hefty reward. After all, she's the one who got us into this. Thank you for your kind words. But, well, I tell you the truth, I said that to try to convince myself as well. Just scared too, you know? Janice, that golden thingy. And that weird threesome. But by working together as a team, it gives me courage. Like, I can have to do whatever it takes. Married sniper talks in big words, a sulky looking punk, and most of all, a leader who's not always confident but capable of bringing it on when it counts. We're also different, but we've done pretty good so far. You know, I kind of like this team. Maybe it's because I trust everyone's skills, but that's more like fate? Nah, that's not it. Just like Alir said, it's a bond. We're not tied together by fate, we're tied together by a bond. It's how we made it this far, and we'll continue to be together. Ain't that right, leader? Thanks, everyone. I'll do my best. If we stay together, the path we travel will be difficult. That will not change. Some of the clues we have so far are the photo, which was torn in half. The evolution of the plant that prophets mentioned and scraps of information found in the laboratory regarding a plan to rejuvenate the world. Basically, the key point is global environmental control. Looks like we'll have to pay, prepare to face even more danger in the future. May be able to find more clues in my research material regarding the history of the planet. I, repro I propose we head to my home. It's located south of here in a town called Humphreys Peak. Yes, it sounds like a good idea. Spend some time with your family. It gets lonely being away from home. Yes, thank you. And he's gone. Of course, Jet being the silent one. Where are you going? Leaving guard duty? That's not very admirable. Oh, it's you. I heard you're Virginia's father. Shouldn't you be trying to stop her? What, the silent treatment? Ah, forget it, I quit. Solomon Mester of this plant? No thanks. That ain't for me. I'm just a drifter. I only work for profit, so I plan on bailing. That's what I suggest you do. I endowed you with the arrogant lamb so you could survive on your own. You're unable to handle any other arm. However, you have the arrogant lamb. Use its power to survive the wasteland. If you find yourself alone in this world, just remember there's a reason for your existence on Phil Guy. Hmm. Sure like taking care of me. I mean, you did teach me how to fight to survive on my own in this wasteland. But save your melody for your daughter, not me. Or else she'll get herself into something she can't handle. I am a cursed father. It's too late to face my daughter now. It would bring about more pain if she ever saw me. Must track down the unseen speculation that veils this world. I must atone. Who are you, really? You're a father to Virginia. You raised me and teach me to survive in the wasteland. You search for answers to the mystery of Fogaya. It goes on in your mind. What is it that you know? Wait a minute. Maybe you know why I don't have any memory of my past, too. There you go again. Clamming up. Have it your way. I've had a change of heart. I was going to hightail it out of here, but I think I'll pretend to be friends a little while longer. That way I'll be forced to track you down no matter what. I'll save the Q&A session till then. An unforgettable, unforgettable memory can at times seem like an ugly scar. Humphrey's Peak is located south of here. Just cross the bridge and stay along the shore. Anyone listen to me? Hey, what's this? Looks like a letter addressed to us. Is this your writing, Jet? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Whatever. Whoop! 
What liar? <laughs> Don't tell me you're thinking about leaving a note and sneaking away. I said whatever. I know you're always on your own, but you're not alone anymore. Yeah, I know. It's much more beautiful to be with someone than to be alone. I'm a firm believer in that bond. Okay, okay, now let go of my hand. Sure you don't want to just leave, Jet? <laughs> oh no. Where, where's my... There's my horse. Alright. That's a sign. Damn it. I was hoping... Oh, Humphrey Speaks should be over here then. There it is! And look, a railway! It's, the tracks will be there soon. Ah, yes. So this is Humphrey's Peak, it's pretty. Yeah, this place is nice. Might you be a landowner? Oh, no, no. Nothing like that. My house is the one with the blue roof. Please let me introduce you to my wife and daughter. There are certain things to uh, to look for. The old water wipe. The air still feels damp. Thought I smelled a goblin just now. Maybe it's just my imagination, or maybe not. <laughs> ah, you can't see it, but there is something down here. There's a chick, but we can't do anything with that one, that thing just yet. How am I doing on items? Not bad, actually. Feeling the winds that run through the trees make me feel nostalgic. Brings back childhood memories and I start feeling listless. The strange thing is I never felt that way before. I mean, this cut, this radar cuts all the bullshit. Even if the sun should shine today, tomorrow may be a world engulfed in darkness. Only such a twilight world can our hearts continue to shine a ray of hope. Those who wish to be blessed with luck head to a shrine west of the station towards Dune Canyon. This blessing is said to remove obstacles by the power of luck. However, this power can only be gained by walking there. That's what the legend says. Ah. What we got? Potion berry. Useful. Specialized in arms? I hear a lot of gossip, so ask me anything. With no agriculture or industry, the only thing supporting the sound are the efforts of each resident and teamwork. So you could say that this town is supported by its residents, but it's not an easy way to life. I'm not going to get enough money for quite a while for that. Can I upgrade her arm just a little bit? No. Reduce the weight. It's going to be so good by the time that's, that's fully done with. Hello. There, that should do it. These guys fix up the save dolls. I was called in for repairs, but it should be fine now. So that's how they maintain these memory figures. These memory figures, essential to drifters travel, are one from many artifacts excavated from the ruins. The members of the Ark of Destiny may maintain these figures for free. Yeah, sure do a lot. Some consider us a religious order, but we don't exactly place our faith in any god. Instead of relying on something we can't see and pray for the better planet, better life on this planet, founder Lamium tells us that we must live each day to its fullest in order for the planet to reach its ideal state. We also have heard that the founder Lamium is guided by the voice of a saint. 
Our basic principle is to live ungrudgingly, so we can devote our efforts to our everyday lives. So in a sense, we're kind of like a volunteer group. If you have any chance and are interested, please stop by our temple sometime. We're indebted to the memory figures. We'd love to stop by one day. Really glad the figure's not broken. It's quite a chore to replace it. If the parts aren't right, the thing blows smoke and malfunctions. Memory figures that can withstand practical use finally came about after many different prototypes were canned. Yep, definitely save. Still can't believe I'm this far in the game in under four hours. That's actually not that bad. A lot faster than I normally do it. There's a huge crevice northwest of here. It's as if the plant was gashed by a huge knife. It hurts just looking at it. I feel the dead bear would push your hand against. Appears to have been a fountain back in the old days. Completely dry. Would have been nice to freshen up a bit. And now to Clive's house. I'm home, Caitlin. Have you been a good girl? Daddy. Have you kept Daddy's promises? Yep. I didn't catch a cold, I've been helping Mommy too, but I still hate celery. Let's promise on your ribbons that I'd be able to eat celery next time. Okay, I'll try my best. Promise on my ribbons. I thought I heard Caitlin all excited. Welcome home, honey. What a surprise, Joy. He's right as beforehand, letting us know when you're coming. Yeah, I just stopped by to do a little research. Oh yeah, let me introduce you to my traveling companions. I'm Gal Gallus Carradine, a basker by your side. I'm available 24 hours, 7 days a week for your garden consultation needs, ma'am, at your service. I'm Virginia. Clive's well, been teaching us so much about everything. Catherine, so nice to meet you all. Please make yourself at home. Hi, I'm Caitlin, Mommy and Daddy's little girl. Thank you for looking after Daddy. Sorry, but we need to take care of the, take over the living room for a while. We need to do some research. I understand if there's anything I can do to help. Let me know. About the research? No, no. I'll never be able to fill father's shoes. How about some tea or coffee? So the professor mentioned I do believe is her father. Caitlin, would you help mommy in the kitchen? Okay. Well, are we getting any close to solve mysteries of the world for the words of our forefathers? Who knows? All I see are words. Am I supposed to know what they mean? But yeah, I hear you. Books without pictures are boring. Hmm. How about you, Clive? Anything? According to my documents, there have been many attempts to alter our environment throughout the ages. However, the method was not evolution as the prophet stated, but rejuvenation. And this massive undertaking called the Yggdrasil Project was most likely the biggest of its kind. A great deal of money, technology, and time was invested in this Yggdrasil system. When did this project start? Hmm. Book fails to mention it. Oh, but there's a section here about the experts who carried out this project. Let's see. It appears that they're a party of seven, each with their own area of expertise, such as science and magic. The members of this organization were replaced according to what specific field was needed at the time. However, this organization always consists of seven members, and later referred to as the Council of Seven. Hmm. What seven-member group can we think of? Council of Seven. Council of Seven. Seven. What is it? Um, I can't put my finger out, but there's something about that name. Photo of Danny. It's got seven people on it. Your old man was a scientist, just like the Council of Seven. This is... So our leader's father was a member of the Council of Seven. Did that mean the massive Yggdrasil project about ten years ago? I've never heard anything about it. Such up to conclusions. Just because there are seven people in the picture doesn't make them the Council of Seven. Yeah, but look at the other members. Uh, you know, this is going to sound really stupid, but doesn't this guy here look familiar? Hey, yeah, I've seen him somewhere. So who's su he's supposed to look like? I think it was Balak or whatever, you know, one of the prophets. 
One half this picture was kept in Virginia's place. Is that correct? I remember seeing this photo about ten years ago, just when my father disappeared. So ten years have elapsed, yet the man in question is not aged. Could it just be a look-alike? Or maybe there's some kind of hidden secret behind this. Not only that, but you got the woman on the right. It's me, Malik, see? Look at me and try to remember. There is no intelligence in that behind those eyes. There is nothing here in there. Even if the clone is successful, it is meaningless that there is nothing within. A mere vessel of flesh without memories is worthless. Wait just a little longer, I'll regain your memories. And of course you got the man on the left in that picture. Ah, I slept like a log after reading those books yesterday. So how did your research go? We seem to have dug a deeper hole than before. Maybe we're not seeing the whole picture because we're trying to get down in the nitty gritty. Well, uh, yeah, let's summarize what we know up to this point. Prophets are trying to evolve the planet using artifacts. And I'm sure them extracting the Guardian's life energy has something to do with this, too. The goal of the Council of Seven was to rejuvenate the planet's life. There must be some kind of connection between the Prophets and the Council. And this connection might have something to do with my father heading out in the wasteland. A planet's life, say. Not too far from this town is a mineral vein full of gems. Are we heading there to get some spend money? No, nothing like that. They say the crystallized gems are we see inside the ruins of caverns are actually shards of the planet's life. They may not provide an answer, but we might find some clues. The truth of the matter is there's too much we don't know. Sorry to interrupt, but hearing you talk about gardens made me realize something. Hi, you remember our wedding? I don't remember. Well, okay, that's because you weren't born yet. Oh yes, of course. Around these parts, it's customary for a couple to visit the Guardian of Luck to wish for good fortune. Now the Guardian Shrine, that means they might be headed there. So we have two leads, the Mineral Advantage Gems of the Guardian Shrine. This is big. What are we waiting for? Let's get the show on the road. Of course we're going to the Guardian Shrine. I need another Guardian. I'm surprised you mentioned that. Yes, I know. I normally wouldn't want you venturing into dangerous territory. I wonder why I said that. Make his daddy look like he was having a lot of fun. Did I look that way? Come to think of it, maybe you did. Watching you searching for the truth yesterday reminded me of how we were before. It wasn't your fault about father, so please. Yes, I know. Right now I have companions to help me along. Perhaps that's why I looked like I was having fun. Grab bag. Hey, Clive, you're going to be getting, like, every grab bag I can find. <laughs> Alright, where are you? There you are. Hey! He's catching up. Still got ways to go. Thank you for looking after my husband. If you have time, won't you stay and rest a while? The Vane of Gems is northwest here. However, I feel that here that there's a fissure on the ground that prevents visitors from entering. Yep, you need a horse for that. And we'll talk to her later. So where was the uh, place again? West of the station. I want the Shrine of Luck. Okay, there's the station. Don't have to worry about the station for just yet.
interesting that I have to go through this. Oh well. Virginia is going to be a monster. Watch this. <laughs> Just casual 500 damage with a, as weak of a weapon as she has. Absolutely monstrous. Oh no, it's over there somewhere. Well, we won't be doing the Guardian Shrine just yet. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is I need to build up speed. We need to jump this crevice. Damn it. have to deal with this. Gemstone Cave. Oh, there's gems. You know who we're going to be facing soon. Somebody who likes to see gems. It's beautiful, although it's rather cold. Yeah, you're right. There's no doubt about it. This place is cold as death. I can't feel the warmness of the air we usually get when we come in contact with medium. Reminds me of a morgue, except much prettier. Let's see what we can get out of all this. Rock Baboom and oh, Baboon and Hodax. Wow! He actually survived a full-on attack. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, fine. Thank you. Finally, someone else getting ahead of here. Dallas can take that hit. He ain't gonna lose much uh, vitality out of all that. Not worth the experience, honestly. <laughs> I 
I didn't expect to see you so soon. Maya! So, someone tipped you off about the gemstones too, is that what you're after? Yeah, but not for the same reason you are. You're always so vague. I don't know what your intention is, but one thing's for sure. You perpetually appear where I go and pester me. You might have an altruistic reason for being here, but if you get in our way, I won't hesitate to take you down. Just want to be true to myself and live honestly. I know you're trying to stop me, but I want to know the truth behind the world. I want to solve its mystery. I have to keep going in order to keep up my father's trail. I want to research the gemstones found in this cave. Its shards are pieces of the planet's existence. Huh. Despite you, your reasoning, you're still after the gems, which, is, uh, which makes us enemies. Don't look at me like that. Did I tell you you'd be no holds barred next time we met? We'll see ya. Better hurry, or else all the gems will be mine. Wow, what a beach. <laughs> Five thousand yellow. I'm surprised she didn't go in and sneak that in. Whatever. What are gems exactly? Gems are composed of life energy of the planet. This life energy can be likened to the blood of living organisms. This coagulation of the planet's lifeblood becomes what we know as what we know as gems. So gems are just blood clots. Oh well. I just can't seem to get away from you. Can't believe how much time, energy, and body fat can motivate your drifters this far. You're getting really fed up. If really want some gems that badly, then here's a present for you. Oh, how big and beautiful. Just look at the lovely color and cut. It's perfect for you, don't you think? Well, I'm off to find my perfect gem then. Ta-ta! What a bitch. Now, all you gotta do is, you know, freeze it, and that's it. There you go. Easy. I would like to use more vitality. Hello, hello. Kill a card. That's not bad. Nothing there, nothing there. Oh, there is a secret here. See where this secret takes us. Gimmel coin. Don't necessarily need the gimmel coin yet. Okay, anything crazy here? Not really. So this will take me up to here for another treasure chest. Nice. Revive fruit. I could actually use more of those after what happened yesterday. There we go. Alright, so this leads to the outside area of the other side. Now, is there anything over here that I would want? Maybe not. Valor is found all over the place, just like the rocks at your feet. Yeah, this, uh... Not exactly the best secret here. Oh well. But it did refresh the uh, gemstones here. Oh, we continue on our merry little way. Hey, 
As mentioned earlier, gems can be likened to blood exuding from the planet, blood that is coagulated, which in turn means that this place is full of wounds. Wounds translate to the decay of land, an impoverished planet. Gems can be found within ruins and buildings for this very reason. So that's why this place feels like a morgue. We feel even more because of the medium and the planet's life force, and also because we've been in contact with the Guardian's power. So this is one of the more damaged places on Felgaia. Gems are ostensibly supposed to grow in size with the passage of time. Even with the large quantity of gems in this cave, the actual size does not differ from other locations. Perhaps the professor's theory is true. It may seem preposterous, but there's evidence here to back it up. And which evidence would that be? Is there any reason to even go over there besides getting the gems? Now. Not seeing any other ways. Oh, I hate these. More curious about where these holes lead than falling in. And of course, what a what a bitch. So, right from the entrance, one close off to go over there, one to go to hit that up. Well, I actually don't even need to do that. Okay, I grab this chest. Lucky card. I definitely want to grab the others. Alright. Anything else here? No. So, yeah. Where was that door? I was actually being serious. Where was the uh, front entrance here? Okay, there it was. So she kicked me from being over there. How about here? No. Yes. Amulet. Ooh, what does that do for me? Status guards. Nullifies status ailments while on guard. Not bad, not bad. So do I want to be up there on that one? Looks like it leads somewhere, yeah, it does. This is gonna hurt. Oh, they don't like each other. Nice. Makes it a little bit easier for us. They got rid of one for us. The fact that I could do Gatling at such a low force power, really good. Oh, now you want to take a bite out of Jet. Yeah! Such a good counter. Nice. Now I'll take that heal berry. I need to replenish my uh, stock. That was the one I jumped in on, so I'm going to want this one. There we go. Ah! 
I don't get it. Why do I keep it up in the same place? Mystical mega sized gem is waiting for me to embrace. I don't have time for this. Hey, that's not fair. I already get up there. I'll make the path that leads to the treasure, not you. Stay where you are. Don't move. Take it out for something. Lock yourself up or somewhere. She doesn't seem to know our way around the caverns either, which means we won't be able to hinder our progress. I believe it's safe for us to pass on. Press on. For now. Yeah, she was just being childish, that's all. I'm also looking for anything out of the ordinary. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Oh, you finally caught up? Stop where you are. You're not worthy of the gem. Gotta get rid of the afro first. If you're going to give it your all, I'll gladly accept your all. And then I'll crush you. Quit hiding, Maya. Show us your face. Hiding? I wouldn't want you to think that. Fine. Behold the true power of Maya Schrodinger. I think I've got a puke. Oh, I love this music. What's with the gaudy costume? Surprise, this is my true power. Milady possesses supernatural powers where she could convert information into her own special abilities. Even nonsensical information can be processed through the medium of a book to wield unlimited powers. In other words, she's able to channel certain characters from comics or novels. Very good, Four Eyes. So basically, she's a freak that can mimic the abilities of a fictional freak she reads about? She's gonna freak out. Hey, <laughs> you all look impressed. No, sis, they've been taken aback. I'm Wonder Witch, and I have the power to cast any kind of magic. Yep, she has the power of magic. In this battle. Let's go. Ah, uh, not exactly the kind of person I want to have. Uh, at least Virginia can't be uh, hit with us, so we're good on that. But Clive is going to wreck someone's shit. Please hit an enemy. Or hit Gallows. An enemy or Gallows, either or. Or Cremate, you know what, Cremate I will accept. Even better that you hit a person with it. Ugh. Yeah, you gotta get rid of him first, otherwise he's just gonna heal everybody. You know what? No, I'm not dealing with it. I am not dealing with him being confused right now. Because this is going to hurt. Todd, you are in, <laughs> you are in deep shit right now, buddy. Because Clive has a massive power boost. Oh! Over 400 damage. Yeah, good luck healing that. You think I'm going to cast a spell on him? Heh! Here it comes. Oh. I mean, Gallows is still powerful, but here we go. Lock on with as much damage? Yeah. Almost a thousand. He's still up. How about you hit... Hey, Todd, how about you hit Virginia with Psycho Crack, huh? How about that? You want to do that. Or 
or that. Just regular attacks work too. Look at that damage from a normal attack. I mean, it was bound to happen sooner or later. It was great while it lasted. That's why I got Gallows uh, working to build it back up. As much as I like everybody hitting all those targets, um... Kinda need Maya to go down next. Alright. You know what? Nah, I don't need to do that. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Get that going again, and then... Unleash Hell on Maya next turn. Okay, Virginia actually needs to heal herself. Okay, make sure you guys are ready to go for this next turn. Cause here it comes, the big kaboom. Round two here. And now we just, we are going to absolutely shut her down. With a crit! Woohoo! Pesky, aren't we? How about some of this? Feel the might of the forbidden spell. No! I didn't even kill everybody. Oh well. Just had to get rid of her. Oh boy. Out of here, sis. We all be buried alive if we cast something that powerful. We only have come here, the attendant research of mine. And it's proven fruitful, at least for us. If you're still interested in striking a vein, please proceed. We won't get in your way. But I doubt you find any precious gems. The these are just all ordinary gems. Look at her. Look at that. It's just nice. Went through all that trouble to get here, and... How did you know there weren't any special gems of value here? Answer me. We have all been deluded. There's a big misunderstanding on our parts. You mean we've been had? Maybe so. We and everyone on this planet have been deluded. Yes, I believe the professor's theory is correct. If that's the case, what's the truth? Let me ask you something. What drives you to face danger? That's easy. Gems. Jewels. The more I get a hold of their sparkle, the more I sparkle. But that's just fleeting glitter. 
The sparkle I'm looking for is a real sparkle. I don't care how many false leads I have to follow. One of these days I will find it. And I will shine because of it. Well, I have absolutely no business being here now. The next gem is calling me, so I must bid adieu. She's trying to find the real sparkle among the many fake ones in this world. Let's head back to Humphrey Speak for now. We don't have time to waste either. Yeah, good idea. Good time to rest up. Rest up, and then we have to take on the, uh, we have to go on the train. Daddy, I have a favor to ask you. Mommy bought me in this book, but the next chapter is sold out. I really want to know what happens next, so can you find the next chapter for me? Adventure 1. Yeah, you're home. I know, I thought that maybe if I was a good girl, you'd come home soon. That's why I did all my chores and finished all my homework. Alright, Clive is about ready to level up. Oh, how am I wise? Could sell a Gallic card or two, but no. Better off not de dealing with that just yet. Alright, to the train. Time to go through the Guardian of Luck. Anything crazy here? No. Thank you for writing. Take it. Alright. So I'm in the East Highlands. Dune Canyon is next. And if you're paying attention to the area, this is actually kind of the end of uh, end of the journey for us to go by on foot. Like this is where we need to we we need to get all of the. Uh... Thank you for, for riding with the guy railways. Where are you headed today? So you're drifting. There's something like you'd be aware of. Much by the name of Diabark attacks people around here. It's a very dangerous beast. He's somehow responsible for fast moving things. He's ruined so many of our trains. So please watch out. You're just asking for trouble if you go riding horseback out here. Yeah. That's a, uh. I didn't see what that was. It might have been a duplicator. Yeah. It's basically saying hey, if you're riding a horseback here, you're going to fight a special enemy. But we'll fight him after we're, we're done with all this. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, that was the enemy that we were going to uh, fight. Yeah, that was the boss. Uh, I mean... I don't think I've ever had him encounter. I've ever encountered him like that. Huh. A little weird. But I want to do that after we're done with Fortune Gear. Yo. Yeah, I said so too. The last time Catherine and I were here, we did not feel this evil presence. It feels as though monsters might jump us at any moment. I can't sense the garden's life force in this vile atmosphere. We need to go in and check. A new guardian is always welcome. Of course, you know, not wanting to screw this up by uh, 
Oh, duplicator door. Good treasure, good treasure. Growth egg! Do you wish to know? Yes, I do. There are 320 treasure chests in this world, of which 110 have been opened. That's the last treasure chest you're going to open. Alright. It was, that was kind of useful. Nope. Is that a crack, or is that just decoration? It was a crack. Yeah, you get, you're going to be using a lot of duplicators here. Migrant seal, that is absolutely worth it. Oh boy. Find the light that guides you by matching the colors of the crystals. Well. No! Okay. A little weird. It's alright. Any other cracks? Five thousand gallon. Adventure two, good. You know, his daughter is going to be happy. We're gonna be reading those books eventually to her. Alright. Oh, are you kidding me, game? Alright, so I'm gonna be walking out eggshells over here. Okay, maybe not. Nope. So. Oh my god. That one was blue. Okay. Sorry? No, that was green. Alright, there we go. There we go. Thankfully, it doesn't re-randomize itself. Oh, yep, there's something here. Is this what's sucking out all the energy from the shrine? I don't think it's satisfied with just the Guardian's life force. We appear to be its next meal. Give me a break. Well, the glutton is hungry. Let's make it eat bullets. <laughs> hey, hey. It's our favorite guy. It's our favorite bug, Oliver. Alright. Just get this going. Immediately. And a, fir and a crit first off. He's going to poison and disease, I do believe.
kind of fun with the uh, with the disease here. Just poison. How much money are you worth? Oh, Jet's gonna make me bullets, alright. Absorbs, like, everything. I mean, it's not really worth it. Why not beat the shit out of him? Looks like it all ran out. Don't have enough to, uh... Oh, he's dead. I'll say, I don't have enough to do it again, so... Whatever happened, happened. Ugh. That was dead. There's something else eating away to the Guardian's life force. Since this evil before, the dark spirit that devours all fo life forms is nearby. Jess, how dare you desecrate life? Well, the best part is, since some of my guys were diseased, they start off damaged. Damn. I didn't get the right... I just have to be standing on the right one... ...when it stops. That's all. Sorry. Make my own luck. <laughs> Forgot that that was a solution to the puzzle. Device is keeping that door shut. Yes, it is. for that. Gonna make this as painless as possible for me.
Yeah. You guys are screwed. Beautiful. There we go. Demo coin. Two duplicators. Call whistle. Not bad. Not a bad spot. Got all my duplicators back, basically. Oh, man. Oh, God. They're, they're close by to each other, but... There we go. Ugh. Some craziness. Some shenanigans on this one. Okay, no treasure here. There's another, uh, chalk. And we all know what's going to be beyond that. Let's go say hi. You're nothing but a lap dog. You seem pretty comfortable fetching the prophet slippers. The jazz I knew, if I recall correctly, used to have wings of his own, even if they were smeared black. Well said, princess. But your attempts to provoke me are still uninspired. You think that if I lose my temper, I'll stop gathering the Guardian's Filet Force and attack you? Is that your intention? Pretty clever, but my orders are to gather the life force from this sucker, that's it. If I forfeit my mission to fight you, who knows what they'll do to me. Damn, Prophets, what do those blokes want with all this energy anyway? Transformful Gaia? What nonsense. What would be the outcome? Do they not know that the Guardian's Life Force is being stored within my body? Even with the ancient wisdom, those blokes have absolutely no idea how to utilize this energy effectively. Look at that guy in the back there. That's why I've decided to use it for them. In order to live freely and rid yourself of all their state, you need power. This is this is exhilarating. With this power, I can overcome all restraints. Don't tell me you, you're up to what you do best, double crossing. Double crossing? No, I wouldn't call it that. I just want to be true to myself and live freely. Live freely? Is that what it means to live freely? Precisely. Ah! The one who has the most power can cr can push everyone aside is the most who lives the most freely. No, you're wrong. That's not what it means to have power freedom. Are you at it again, princess? You should know by now. Without power, you're unable to do whatever you want. You just become a pawn of someone who has power. But right now, the great power lies within me. I'm free. No one can get in my way. Janice Cascade, you cold-blooded monster! That's right, Princess. I've been liberated from my human form into this cold-blooded monster. Here we go. I'm burning up. I'm about to explode. It's as if something's trying to break from my inside. It's gonna be the Guardian's power. Yeah, we are going to... Make use of whatever he's about to do to us. Yeah. He hurts. But we're gonna make it our advantage here.
Okay, Clive, you just got deleted. I was hoping he'd hit Gallows with that. Jet's dead. All right, Clive, just stay dead. All right. <laughs> the power that sustains the world. Amazing. No matter how much damage I take, I will not perish. This is the power I've been after. <laughs> this is mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you poor suckers. Still, uh, still dead. Say your prayers, princess. I'll make this quick and painless. Psych! Surprised? It'd be a waste for me to use my powers when you're already half dead. Don't worry, princess. I'll let you blokes live a little longer. Stop. Where do you think you're going? Sorry, prince. But I have places you got things to do. I'm a busy man. We're too late again. I can feel the anger, chagrin, and frustration of the Guardian robbed of its life force. Is it because of the Arch Scepter? Probably not, huh? It's because the Guardian and I are both trying to survive desperately in full guy. I'm sure the same sentiment. What is it I'm seeking? The freedom you talked about. If I had the power, I could have denied him of his freedom. Aye. How much longer do we have to fight that guy? Why do I have to be bound by fate? I know. It's up to me whether I want to fight or not. Then I'll just... What he talks about is a freedom. It's just a cop-out. can't do something so lame. Sorry, everyone. I'm slow to catch fire, but it looks like I'm ready to burn. For the sake of the Guardians who are violated? You could say that. But wherever I... Because I want to find my own freedom by denying him his. Gallows. Let's go back to Humphrey's Peak. I wash away this gloomy mood. We can't march forward with our heads hung low, right, leader? Let's march on. Alright, so. I only got one nectar. Ah. How's everybody doing health wise? I might be able to take him on now. So, let's try it. Here it comes. No? Come on. You know you want to fight. Come on. Come on. Nope, that's on him. Gonna have to keep doing this until I find him.
Yeah, I'm running out of vitality for my guys here. Come on. Give me the fight. No, you want to. That's not even it. I'm gonna have to come back. Alright, you win. I'll go back to town. I wanted to get this part out of this uh, boss fight out of the way, but it looks like he doesn't want to show up. It's fine. Go back to town, rest, get the next mission, and then come back here. That's where I'm going to have to come back to, anyways. the horse is over there because I'm just gonna go right back this planet is incomplete imperfect to be endowed with the full wisdom of highness it rejects us and therefore unsightly it's unsightliness is like a pupa waiting to emerge this planet must reincarnate into utter beauty like a butterfly like me is that what you were thinking Malik since when have you I heard your vainglorious looks had no effect on that man. I think I like the old you better. Whew! Temper! Temper! It's not very admirable of you to use wisdom of hiatus for your own personal matters. Like resurrecting the dead? A spin-off of life control technology? You think I haven't noticed? I apologize. I said a little too much. <laughs> And I didn't mean to hide my experiment from you either. I was just going to let you know after I made more progress. There's no need for the three of us to quarrel. We all strive for the same goal. Our goal, to recreate this entity of life we call Fogaya. Ever since we were evolved by the wisdom of Hiatus, the environment of this planet is too much of a burden on us. This is why we must carry out the terraforming. To alter the makeup of the environment using the wisdom of Hiatus is to evolve this plan into Terra, a plan that is suited for us. By doing so, we're also promoting the analysis and practice of lost wisdom from the information library hiatus. We might be in charge of this lost technology of the gods. It's been a long cherished ambition for us to, as disciples. However, should our plan fail, we'll be nothing but an alien element to this life and entity we like we call Fulgaia. The planet will no doubt deem us as parasites begin to cleanse itself in order to exterminate us. Our deaths will not simply be our own, but the stagnation of evolution. In other words, the end of the human race. The future is meant for the evolved. We are the only ones worthy. That's why we must evolve Phil Guy into a form suited just for us. It is the dark spear that points to Phil Guy's future and ours. Melody, accompany Asgard and eliminate those unwanted drifters. Yes, sir. Yes, my master. It speaks! 
The internal Gemini circuit enables him to learn, and the evolutionary and out. An algorithm gives him the ability to reason. Looks like they are beginning to take effect. Accumulating past battle data, analyzing the proper action to take is what forms its simulated spirit. So if the Gemini circuit is a soul, then all the data he collects can be likened to his memories. Depending on the type of data he gathers, he may even form emotions one day. Huh. That is my field, but very interesting indeed. The formation of memory. Now, continue with the download. I want you to bring up the schedule by seven steps. Seven steps, sir. Why the rush? Is there a problem? I just received word from Balas. Janice has just stored the extracted Guardian's life energy into his own body. Janice has reached his final level. His motive or ours? If we don't act now, the future may fall in the hands of one with unsuitable ambitions. Oh yeah, they've definitely taken notice. Your father? Well, I don't remember much about him. I was only a little girl. Actually, my uncle told me he was a scientist. You know, looking back, the only memories I have of my father are him teaching me how to handle arms. That photo is indeed the Council of Seven. Or, if it is somehow connected to the Prophets, it may have something to do with the mysteries of the world. Just as my professor, Catherine's father, did, perhaps they were looking for my, the mystery behind Phil Gaia's decay. Then your professor is a scientist, too. Yes. He was in search of Phil Gaia's memory so that he might track down the cause behind the plant's decay. He passed away several years ago during an accident. It was all my fault. Listen, uh, I'm sorry you told us the story before. Sorry I brought it up. Please, don't worry. It'll make us more uncomfortable. Yeah, that's all in the past now. There's nothing more pointless than dwelling in the past. Just because you don't have any memories doesn't give you the right to say such cruel things. Look who's talking. Hey, is Clive there? Was this a bad time? No, no, no. What can I do for you? Just received word about a mission that calls for skilled drifters. The thought of you. If you're busy, I could come back later. Hmm. No, we're fine. We'd like to know the details. All right, the client is waiting underneath the street lamp in the town center. Remember the rising religious order? I think they're called the Ark of Destiny or something. It's that guy that came by to repair the memory figure recently. He's dressed fine, so you can't miss him. Best of luck to you. From an errand boy to the go of the gods, huh? Sounds pretty shady. You're one to talk. Well, let's get our game face on. Hell yeah. Alright, everybody looking good? Yes, they are. Let's go upgrade again. Never mind. <laughs> Let's decrease the weight of her gun for now. And then the next time I'll buy a uh, weapon upgrade. It'll be for... Uh, it'll be for an attack up. I understand I'll take out this mission. Thank you very much. We'd like to you to brief us first. Then we'll decide whether to accept or not. Very well. I understand. We at the Ark of Destiny are dedicated to using ancient artifacts to bring about a better future, free from these harsh environmental conditions. Our religious order has recently discovered a ruin in this area. It's said to be an ancient ruin, dating back to the very first people who inhabited this planet. The very first people of this planet. There are people from the unknown who descended the fertile plains of this planet from a ship that soars the heavens. Talk about a legend of our forefathers coming to fill guy on a flying ship, right? I thought it was just a fairy tale. Many people see it as that. However, we at the Order have excavated a number of ruins that substantiate the tale. The ruin in question is another one. What would you like us to do? I would like you to get past the security system and make your way to the power room to retrieve the Kism Fire. The Kism Fire? What's that? Just as the name implies, it's a beautiful crystal that shines a translucent red. However, its true value is not its physical beauty. It's a crystallation of energy that once set the ship that soars the heavens afloat on the seas, allowing it to keep running. That is the true worth of the Kism Fire. Or so the legend says. It is nothing but a rumor without much credibility, but... If in fact this is true, we will be able to gain the power of the ship that soared the heavens. As our name implies, we are the Ark of 
We at the Ark of Destiny wish to guide mankind towards the future. Well. Okay, we'll accept the mission. Are you sure you are not making such a hasty decision? Shouldn't we find out more? It's true that we hardly know anything about this Ark of Destiny. But if such a powerful crystallization of energy lies untouched deep within a ruin, the prophets will come and knock Since there are so many unknowns about this mission, I don't know if we can live up to your expectations. We won't ask for payment up front, but we'd like to be paid in full if we succeed. Very well. If it's successful, I will pay you 2000 That's what I'm talking about. No negotiations needed. Wait, only 2000 That's agreed. We'll let you know what we find. Good luck. Should be worth a lot more than 2000 Alright. Last thing I'm going to do tonight is hopefully get this boss fight going. Oh shit. I didn't even talk to him to where the location was. Might want to do that. There we go. Southwest of this town. So it's like, hey, like, there's not very many places it could be over here, which it's not going to be, I don't think it's going to be down here, it's going to be over there, up there. Never mind. Faraway lands. Hey, I know some monsters that will drop Azelards in there. Alright, so we are going to invoke the Lucky Hand. Her HP is going to go up, her aim and evasion is going to go up, her luck is technically going to go up a little bit. Alright. So, luck boost. It's good. Experience boost. Uh, Gala boost is good, too. Oh, let's just do that. Just to make sure that we have enough money on us. Take it. Going to the Dune Canyon again. Gotta fight this boss. Alright. Now, will you show up this time? I just need to be ambushed by this boss. Come on. Oh, that's not it. I think the boss, uh, nope, that's 18. Come on. Where are you? Gonna have to go into some of these battles and just hope that, you know, one of the green ones is him. Nope, that's not it. These assholes. Well, this time I actually have vitality, so I don't have to worry so much about them.
Ooh, Virginia's about to level up. Come on. You are around here, and I have to take you down. It's... This is the guy that's going... There he is. Alright. The Serpent Team 4 moves and intercepts the party in their mounts. It's none other than Diabark. The beast that seeks to devour all that treads noisily. This guy is going to be what pays for our uh, Sand Cruiser, which we're going to need after this next dungeon, so... I can take him on any time I have this thing going on for me. So... Okay, don't go all out before I cast Valiant. Jeez. Let's go. Paralysis bite. Ooh. Well, if, if he's not going to do any damage, I'm not going to be able to get anything done around here. That Gala card. Lucky card. There we go. That's without even any real boost to damage. Alright. Actually, let me see what spells you got. Temporal Enhanced Life, Steals Item, Randomizer, Familiar. You know what? Yeah, let's see what the gods have in store for me here. Also, I want to see how much money you have on you. Petrify. I didn't think so. Nice. Could do with a bit more damage, though. Okay, 3,800 Gala. Weakness... To wind and ice. Or is that water and ice? And one of them is ice. Jet's going to be the one that's gonna be that's gonna sweep this guy, so. Uh, attack's not possible on horseback. Right. Yeah, you just get your force power back up. Virginia or pathetic attack. Come on, hit Gallows. Hit Gallows. I mean, now she's not pathetic. Much better. Hit Gallows, please. I hope that it didn't wear off on him. Actually, you know what? I'm going to guess that it did, so... Yeah, Virginia's is back to normal. Yours was not back to normal. That's okay, we killed him anyways. But our reward is... The dragon fossils we needed to pay off the thing. So, all the other dragon fossils we collected, that's to buy other stuff. So, I'm glad to take him out now. Gal's level 27. That is really nice to see. Sorry, Clive. Sorry, Jet. But having Virginia at level 10, pretty good. I mean, level uh, 25. 
The menacing gargantuan was vanquished thanks to the brave of Virginia and her comrades. The dragon fossils that slept in the belly of the beast had broken into glimmering shards and now rest at their feet. Hell yeah. Oh, that, but we got... Not enough money. Had I had actually done the uh, Gala card, I could have... Could have actually gotten a lot more. Oh well. Ticket. Back to these Thailands. Gonna go rest up, and that'll be it for tonight. You know what? You're right. I should probably get on the train. I don't know why I keep trying to leave, but... Really get back on the train. And then I'll be able to stream on Thursday, not tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be playing some Frost Haven with my dad. Only got a few more weeks left before he he moves out away from us, so get those days in while I can. I have to go to work early tomorrow, so just a short stream today. Absolutely destroying some of these bosses. Get absolutely destroyed by one boss because I was too greedy in my damage output. Make yourselves at home. Save your game? Hell yeah. We're done. So, I'd like to thank you guys for coming. And let's see here. Anybody really on that I want to go run to? Not really. Okay. That's okay. That's it for tonight. So this is Faramir, signing out. Till Thursday. <laughs>